And it takes a certain it takes a, a tremendous amount of experience to be able to control what you're doing. Right. And that's why I think like people say people used to say to me, you know, you gotta do the digital, you gotta do computer, digital, that's the way you go, digital, digital, digital. And so I said I to say I said to myself, I'm gonna do something that you can't do on a computer. It's done in the dark room. But I'm going to go into the back into the dark room and do something that nobody else has ever done before, because I really know the dark room. Right. right. And I, bet, I, mean, I think I've done it. I don't know computers, but maybe somebody could say I could do this on a computer. But but I don't know computers. So this is where I've come now. Where I no longer you no longer have to recognize the image. Or you've got to see, uh, you've got to derive a feeling from it. And this is done in the dark room. And for the very first time, I started to add color to it. Mm -hmm. Because I've been printing for all those years. Wait, is this it's color, all black and white. Is this color again? This, uh, with chemicals? This is a, this is a toner plus okay. stain plus uh, other, other chemicals that I've worked with. Um, but then I've got to, I really got to know, you've got to know your chemistry to be able to come oh, out to the, yeah. with the effect. And each one is unique. Right. And then I ran against this problem of people trying to compare it with Jackson Pollock. And I said, I can't let that happen. I don't want to be compared to anybody. I want to be able to, people to look at it and say, hey, I've never seen that before. Right, right. So I got it's away from my dad. Yeah, I've gotten away from, from that from that look totally. And I'm starting to paint. I'm painting with brushes. I'm painting with light. I'm painting with chemicals. And again, uh, it, it's all abstract. So for a guy that used to work and try to make sure that you can tell that it's a tree, to somebody who you can look at, you can't tell what it is. Well, it's an and it is a painting. They work well as a vertical or as a, a tried as a. Yeah. They work as a horizontal just as well. Um, there's a, you know, the, it doesn't really matter how you look at it. It still has that same feeling. Well, I have no idea whether we're actually capturing the depth that's on these, but it, I mean they're very interesting because there's so many layers of of subtlety in them besides the more graphic pieces that are involved in it, and the colors are really quite beautiful. Yeah, and the latest work, the work that I did in 2010, uh, a little bit of a variation from what you see here. I don't have any of them here uh, because I'm not ready to really to really exhibit them yet. But it's, it's the same sort of a direction. I've gone a little further, and I've added. Uh, Black lines to black paintbrush, this uh, type of light, um, and I make my prints are bigger now. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. This is a 20 by 24. My prints are now 20 by 35, 20 by 40. And now I'm cutting my own paper. Mm -hmm. I buy my paper in rolls and I cut it down, and I work with them in rolls because, uh, because I can't. Nobody makes paper bigger than 20 by 24. Mm -hmm. So I have to cut it all down. And so I re I to remake my dark room, reestablish my dark room to be able to fit these big these big prints in there. Well I think this is very exciting. Yeah, it's it's um, I'm finding it so I'm finding it very, very exciting. Um, and it, you know, people say, you know, you've reinvented yourself. Uh, you don't start out doing that. I mean, just it just evolves. It just yeah. evolves, yeah. and yeah. and uh, uh, it's 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 hard work. It's you know, it's actually a lot harder doing these than it is doing like a straight print mm -hmm. where you like my earlier prints where you just went into the dark and you made the best print possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's if, if it's too dark, you make it lighter. If it's too light, you make it darker. You've got a lot of control over it. But you're looking for the best print, sort of like mm -hmm. Angel Adams was doing. And I use Angel Adams as an example because I, I think he was probably the most brilliant printer that ever lived. I mean, he was, his prints are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but 
photography is now changed, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, we can respect and love what was done in the past, mm-hmm. but we've got to move on. And uh, uh, one of the things is that, uh, uh, in some ways, I'm fortunate. I have a son that has a, uh, a gallery in New York, a photography gallery in Chelsea. So I had a chance all the time to go into New York and see what is being done in mm-hmm. the, in, mm-hmm. the, in the galleries and in the museums. Mm-hmm. And rather than get locked down in what what I'm seeing around me here, I'm getting a broader view right. of what other people are right. doing. Right. And the art world changes so much. The art world is really changing in the, the photography world. You know, when I started photography, it was like a hobby. People didn't. People had, had no respect for it. It was sort of like, you know, you collect stamps or, or, or coins or whatever it is, and it was a hobby. Uh-huh. And uh, it has changed where it's become an art form, uh, and where you couldn't sell a picture before. Now it's pictures are very marketable yes, uh-huh. and getting very high prices. Right, right. But I never think in terms of whether or not I'm going to sell it a picture or not. That's that's not relevant to me. What it is, what is relevant is, is the picture good? Is it something that I wanted, that I like? Mm-hmm. And that, to me, that's where right. the importance of right. it is. And uh, I've never grown disenchanted with photography. That's fabulous. Well, you've changed it. You've made it your own. I mean, you 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 keep moving it into something else that you're excited about. You know, but I'm I'm sort of a basic guy. I'm still in a dark room. I mean. Nobody's in the dark room anymore. Uh, I will not nobody, but very few people. Uh, the companies are no longer manufacturing the products right. for dark room. Right. They actually turn around as something has been discontinued. Right. Kodak, of course, is the leader of, of discontinuing everything. <laughs> uh, and uh, there are times when I have to really hunt around <coughs> to find the paper that I want. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've got to go. I got to go to the internet. Fortunately, my wife is good at that, so she can we hunt out the papers and try to find out what's available. But everything is disappearing. I don't think I can do these anymore because the chemicals that are used to do these are no longer available. The companies are not making because nobody is buying it. So. Okay, unfortunately, we're out of time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. It was such a pleasure to see your work and to find out what you're doing now. 